G'day! In today's video, I've got a MSI RTX 2060 Ventus XS 6 gig OC version 1. And on this, I'm going to be doing a relatively simple, or at least I'm expecting to be simple, thermal paste replacement. There's really not too much to it on this particular model, as it is pretty easy to get apart. Most of which is going to be these four screws that we can already see. I'm just using a fairly standard small Phillips head screwdriver. I'm doing the screws from there. So far, so good. I give that a little twist. Pull. There we go. As we can see from here, thermal paste, thermal paste. The thermal pads themselves look to be okay. They're still a little bit tacky and oily. That's what you want. You don't want them to be all, pat, all dry and just disgusting. <laughs> it's a simple way to put it. Dry and brittle. If they're dry and brittle, they're due for replacement. I'm not going to cover the sizings of what they are. What I just sprinkled here was some isopropyl alcohol. You might be able to use something like Windex if you've got that around the house. Or an alcohol wipe, like what they give out with KFC. This one here is going to be the easy one to clean. This one here, maybe not so much. And put some more down. I'll just go over it very lightly with a toothbrush. I know some people cringe at this, but those caps are not going to hold with a little toothbrush going over them. They were destined to fall off anyway. Especially being the toothbrush going over it is lighter than me going over it with a tissue. I don't know, is that dye all cleaned up? Or nearly all cleaned up. A bit more focus down here. It's not perfect, but going to be much better than the paste that was already existing on there. I'll zoom you guys in a bit more. Tap on here. Take this cap off. It seems to be suctioned on very well. Okay. Off. And what I like to do is just push it on there and smear it around. I found that this far uh, Corsair T3, uh, TM30 is a bit weird. It doesn't seem, it seems to be almost too, too tacky. That makes sense. Which in turn makes it a bit harder to put around. I've got an ample amount on there at the moment. I use a little plastic spatula to spread it around. Do want to make sure I cover all aspects of the die. It just isn't a heat spreader, so it doesn't. It if there's no thermal paste on there, that's just going to be a heat spot. Thus, we have the heat sink attaching. Probably use a little bit too much thermal paste here, as that did actually become nicely runny after a, a brief bit. Normally, it ends up clotting together. Uh, it is not in this instance. It's probably a little bit too much, but I'd rather have too much than too little. Go. And next up from here, I should just have to fold this back. And what I like to do is just meet it at the middle, like a sandwich. Fold it this way, line it up, and push it in the holes. Flip it up this way, and I like to push down a little bit, and then do up do up the screws once more. So that should be really all there is to it. If your, if your graphics card hasn't had any thermal paste replaced since the initial purchase of it, 2060 now is we've got getting probably close to around about six years old, I think, off the top of my head. Five or six years, I think. So it definitely would be something worthwhile doing. Anyway, I hope those simple steps help you with it. I did also give these a blowout with an air compressor prior to taking it apart. It wasn't overly dusty. It was just more the concern of the thermal paste, which I've rectified just then. Anyway, that will do. 
Bye.